Nancy Pelosi is insane. Chicago Tribune, today, headline. Nancy Pelosi says Democrats should be flexible on candidates' abortion stances. The House Speaker, one of the leaders of the Democratic Party, has just taken a center-right stance when it comes to abortion. What happened yesterday? Alabama passed the most strict anti-abortion law in the country yesterday. Missouri plans on following suit. Ohio as well. And a handful of other states. You see, what's going on in Alabama isn't intrinsically confined to Alabama. This far-right Christo-fascist mentality and sentiment and belief is straddled all across the country. All over the place. So if you think it's something that's just confined to Alabama, you want to rethink that trajectory of thought. Okay? Because what's happening in Alabama and what happened can, and at this, at this rate, will happen all across the country if we don't fight it if we don't see abortion as a human right protected by the Constitution and one of the leaders of the Democrats just took a right-wing position a center-right position on abortion a day after Alabama passed the most strict abortion, anti-abortion law. Right-wing Democrats, man. This is why I don't play ball with, with, with conservative Democrats. They open up these windows, the, the, these opportunities for the right wing to seize a chunk of the left. And they did right there. Lord knows what the conversations were before Nancy Pelosi made that statement. But I guarantee you, it was with some Republicans. Because they work together. It's all about working together. Yeah, it's about working together for the things the Republicans want. <laughs> they want to hear the Democrats say stuff like that. Republicans want to hear Nancy Pelosi say, Oh, just be flexible when it comes to abortion rights when considering a candidate. You know why she also said that? It just occurred to me now. Joe Biden. Joe Biden has a pretty weak record on abortion, uh, Roe versus Wade, uh, women's rights in general. So it's almost like she just said that to prep people, to just prime people uh, to say it's okay if Joe Biden or any other centrist Democrat, for that matter, uh, levied themselves on, on a right-wing position, vote for him anyway. Joe's still a good guy. So I, I'm looking at the strategy behind uh, this comment. A day after Alabama passes the most strict anti-abortion bill in the country yesterday. These words are not just said out of the clear blue sky. There is strategy behind them. And, uh, wow. This is why I'm a progressive. I don't tolerate this stuff. I don't tolerate Democrats bowing down to the GOP and what they want on a constant basis. Like I said, I know bipartisanship. I get it. We have to pass bills together. I get it. We have to work together. I get it. But the toxic enmeshment between the GOP and the Dems, it's just so... It's in such deep water. And we don't have to go this far with them. Okay? 
Anyway, let me know your thoughts down in the comments.